Alright, what is the buy one on one here making a video on how to macro the Razor uh Black Widow Ultimate. S yeah. So <laughs> how to macro it since um I made one about the mouse, so I figured let's, let's move on to the, the keyboard. The amazing clicks. Alright, I'm a fruit nut, so I'm a fruit cake. So it's alright. <laughs> Alright, so let's get into it. This is the software we'll be using. Razer Synopse 2.0. It's probably like 2.66. I don't even know. Too many fucking numbers. Alright, but you know. But here's the software we're going to be using. And I'll show you how to obtain it. So we're going to go over here. Let's bring that right there. Alright, the way you get to it is you go to Google. Type in Razer. I can use well. Type in Razer. Then Synops. Boom. There we go. Then you go to here. Then you download it. Unless you have Mac. Then you just download the Mac version. But no one likes Mac. Ah, <laughs> JK. Uh, but you download the uh, the Windows version. 3.1. And then, yeah. There's the system requirements. And it's free too. Everybody loves free. Not the keyboard though. Keyboard's not free. Alright, so since you get it downloaded, it'll bring you up to a screen, probably tell you to sign in, sign in, do all that shiznit, and then after you do all that, it'll bring you to this screen, and then you'll have a beautiful keyboard, you'll be like, yay, yay, and then you get all this stuff, and so like, you're like, right here, you have your pants down, and you don't know what to do, well, put them back on, and I'll tell you what to do, and hold on, okay, <clears throat> so, the basic rundown is, it's a normal keyboard, macros, you know, you got your numpad, you get your basic keyboard, and then you got the F keys, and then you get all the function buttons, which is normally not on a keyboard. They're found on laptops, but not normal keyboards, generally. And then you got the M's, M1 through 5, M1, M2, M3, 4, 5, and, yeah, when they're highlighted green, it tells you that they are macroed, because you can see I have some of these macroed. This one's macroed to number 1. And this one's macro to that. And I just hit M2 to start stop recording. So it's a convenient button to press. And it's bound to this button right here. Which is run through a different software. But that's like I have it. That's just what I have it set to. I have it set to this key. And then this macro is set to this key. So if I was to hit this it would start recording. And so I'm bound that key to that key. So I can just hit that. Alright. Beside the point. Getting off track. <laughs> Alright, so, basic rundown is, if you want to macro it, you go to macros, okay, you want to click new macro, and say, you want to make a macro, let's call it, lol, swag, okay, and then what you want to do, is, normally people don't like to put delays, but some people like to add delay, if you use regular record delay, it'll use your own personal, like, the t speed you type at. If you use default delay, it'll space out how fast it types each individual letter. So, I put A, and then B, and I put 0.5 seconds, it'd be A, B, or A, B. It'd be a point fifth of a second. If you do no delay, it'll instantly show up. So, let's... Okay, so I found it. Yay! Okay, so this is what I was looking for. To demonstrate how macros will generally work and what they can do and some of the things they can reach beyond. Alright, so all you have to do is basically it's the exact same way as doing it on the Naga. Naga, Naga, whatever. Same way, you know, you click record. Let's do no delay and then we'll do I like I and I like boobies. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Boom. Okay. See now we have all this text set up, and now it'll instantly place it on there whenever I click it, whenever I set it up. So now it's called LOL Swig. I'm gonna go back to the keyboard since I'm just gonna use M4 to all of it. I'm gonna click on default. You don't want to set the default. 
and then you're going to go to macro, and then we're going to assign it to LOL, no, LOL swag. We only have it play once. You can have it play multiple times or repetitive or whatever. Okay, and then we go over here, and then I'm going to hit F4. I like pie, and I like movies. You know, I could spam the hell out of it, and it'll just do that for me. But that's the general rundown of how to make the basic macro. Also, what you can do with these keys <coughs> is assign it to a keyboard function. Um, you can also have it launch a program, so... Okay, and you can also have it launch to a website, so I could have it set www.youtube.com. Launch program. Oh, okay, you have to click on that. www. You. Right, you know, save that, and then all you have to do is hit five. Watch, watch it in default browser, and brings you to website. Jump, and then there you have it. How to basic rundown of how to macro <coughs> a keyboard. Uh, uh, with the Razer Black Widow Ultimate, and you can ultimately assign every single key to it, but that's for you to do and not me. I don't like personally just assigning keys on the main keyboard, unless I know I'm not going to click them, because I have no intentions on clicking record, 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 because I did that a couple times at the video, but ultimately... These are going to be your main macro buttons on the keyboard. And yeah, I hope y'all did enjoy the video. And if y'all did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I should have a Razer Cracking Chroma and how to play with the little colorful lights on it coming out soon. Probably within the next week or so. And yeah, hope y'all did enjoy. And see you guys later. Peace.